I'm down here. Uh, today I'm making a McDonald's, basically quarter pounder clone at home. Uh, I've got my burger patties which I made up before, they're good to go. Uh, chopped onion and brioche buns and cheese. With my mustard and my tomato sauce. So first things first, I just, you can put the onions on raw. I like to put them, just take the edge off a little bit. So I'll just do those for a couple of minutes. They won't at all take long while I'm cooking my burgers. So basically with these, I want to do these for two minutes a side. So, well, two and a half minutes. These are 170 grams each, not quite a quarter pounder, but two and a half minutes a side with these. Them off. Onto the grill, above uh, charcoal, which I've already started in my starter. So I'll leave those for about two and a half minutes a side. I've got the brioche buns as well, and I'll toast them. Uh, once I've flipped those so they're freshly toasted. Uh, we're using this burger cheese here, which is just this one here, the Dairy Lee. They're quite, it's quite good. Uh, we started doing them on the hot coals because it does give it a lot of, it gives it a better flavour. So once again, like I said, that's two and a half minutes. I'll just stir these, I've had this preheating. And I'm only doing these for a couple of minutes. Like I said, just to take the edge off. So I'll come back in a couple of minutes once we've got these halfway through and we'll have a look at where we're going from there. Okay, so these have had a couple of minutes, about two and a half, three minutes now, just to take that rawness out of them. So I'll take them off, place them over here on my table. Basically come back to my burgers. They've also been cooking for about two and a half minutes aside. Cooked about halfway through now, so I'm going to give these a flip. And that is what we are looking at. So, now, I actually uh, boiled that... Um, griddle up with the, uh, the rice brand oil there. Seems to smoke less which is good. What I'll do now is I'll just place these brioche buns whoop, above the heat here. Now you've got to be careful with these. Constantly flip them and watch them. They burn easily so I'll toast both these brioche buns and I'll just continually flip them. What I'll also do in about a minute's time is I'll paste cheese on the top of these just to cook them uh, so the cheese will melt into it for a couple, uh, about a minute to cook. Okay, so now I'll just separate a piece of this cheese, place them on the top, and I'll have about a minute more to go. So that'll start to melt the cheese on there. Um, I've done the buns now, toasted them. Like I said, you've got to be careful. Might have overdone that a little bit, but it's all right. Um, I've placed one piece of cheese ready to go on mine. Louise likes hers differently. So now I shall add my mustard to the top while I'm waiting for that burger to finish. You can put the tomato sauce on here too. I'll um, put that on top of the cheese when it's done with my onion. And uh, once again, it's, it's basically dependent on how much mustard, how much sauce you like, how much onion. That was a small onion there. So these are probably nearly done. I'll give them another 30 seconds and take them off. And uh, we'll place that on the burger there, then I'll tomato sauce, and um, put my onion on, and I'll have myself a homemade cheeseburger. Very similar to a McDonald's burger, except the difference being that this has obviously been cooked fresh. So, place that on there, nice and hot so that'll start to melt. The onion should have cooled down enough now. I'll hold it with my hand, which it has. Plenty of onion on there. I like a bit of onion. Like I said, you can have it raw. Um, I just like to take that raw edge off it. And my tomato sauce. And here we have a McDonald's cheeseburger or a quarter pound of clone. Good to go. And that will taste delicious and nice and fresh as well. Alright guys, until next time, take care.